It's December in Detroit. We're here with the JSFL wildcard. Our first game is Saturday, 1 p.m. Coming straight to you, our sixth seed. The 8-4 Phoenix Gill Monsters come to the third seed, locking up the north. The Detroit Power, who finished 6-6. Six and six. Starters coming off fresh off the bench like Taylor Little. And a bunch of others who works should be fresh in the corners. And Otis Stellar, old reliable. As Detroit, looking to please the crowd here. It's cold outside, but we're inside today. So we should see some pretty good gameplay. Phoenix having a battle of their own, which was pretty much life or death in the playoffs, too. The Phoenix comes to their second. Lose it. I mean, win it or leave situation. This time, fighting Detroit. They beat them, they beat them earlier in the season at Phoenix. They won by a decent margin, but now they have to play in Detroit. And we'll see what team can emerge victorious here. It's the wild card. For Jays to foul the first ever season, can the rookie Brian Tepps bring his team to a championship? Or a Jays to championship. We'll have to see two great coaches here today. We'll see which one can come out victorious. We'll see if Taylor Little feast on them, or we'll see if Phoenix. And Julio Jokes and Frank Jog and Brian Tepps can have a great day. Chet Wood, your touchdown reception for the most of the regular seasons also here today. MVP Taylor Little and his posse might have other plans, but the kick is away. The playoffs have started in the JSFL, and we're off. It's at Neil in the end zone, and let's look at Sean Richardson's season stats. 235 completions out of 300, two, out of 267 attempts, 2,652 yards, 20 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, 8 rushing touchdowns, and a game with 50 plus rushing yards. The best QB, he won that award. There was only award, he got 3 third in MVP. Here's the throw for him, he's looking, scrambling out of the pocket, Richardson with the rush to start off. Richardson, plenty of room. He gets it down to 45. It's a 20-yard rush to start Sean Richardson off today. He was the best rushing quarterback. He had 85 points on the rush. And he's looking to use his rushing abilities here on Phoenix. Byron Baxter. On the tackle. First and 10. After a 20 yard rush by Richardson. Here is the MVP, Tara Little's first carry. Little shaking off the D line and gets it to the 47. Eight yards on Little's first carry for the number eight. So, yeah, Little won MVP. No surprise. He was running in the race for a long time and he wasn't stopping. So second and two now for the power. Nice opening drive so far. Two plays, both in succession. Here's the snap. It's Little again. Second and two. He's getting a hit at the line. Dropped right at the line. Let's look at Detroit's offense a little more in depth. We're going to talk about Richard saying, let's look, look at the O-line. Best overall O-line in the league. Hugh Brooks, 99 overall wide receiver. Tara Little, he already won MVP. And Dino Norman tied with all the wide receivers for touchdowns with five. Receiving core, not the best, but we should be relying a little on little today. Here's Richardson throwing, and there him as well, Otis Stelle. The reliable. They might be looking his way quite a bit today. Oh, that was Hector McDaniel. He's actually playing slot today. My bad. The speedy tight end. He should be taking up for Stelle in a few years. As McDaniel, he's going to have a few more snaps looking his way. He maybe can burn some of these Phoenix players as he's playing slot. Theodore Norman was playing slot up till today. They're like, oh, McDaniel could be a good fit here. And they put him here. So two good tight ends for Richardson. Running little, shakes off a tackle, but he can't shake off anymore. Buried on that play. Phoenix. 
We let that one good run, nothing else. Jordan Jackson, that play. Not letting Little go any farther. Come on off the D-line. Hit him kind of early, and I think that's what let more Phoenix players get to him. Stopped him, and then the reinforcements came right in, Little. Second and 13 now. Dude, Brooks is on the top of your screen. I want to watch him on this play, but it's a wide receiver screen instead. Oh, shake top a tackle. He gets it up to the 34. Theodore Norman, 11 yards in that carry. Third and two. Detroit doesn't want to stop the drive here. They need two yards to keep it going. So third and two. Hector McDaniels in the slot. Run. It's little. I think he got there. Fourth and inches. They're going to call him short. Daryl shot. Got in there. Force is fourth. So Detroit's known for going for it. We wonder if they're going to go for it here. Watch this. Little. Had the carry. Does he break the plane? Ooh, I think he's down. I don't know. That's close. But they're going to call him down. Yes. Shot with a nice play. And now the field goal. They're not going to try anything risky here. It's going to be a 49-yard attempt. Big one. The kick up. It's no good. His first kick of the playoffs and it's a miss. That's not the way you want to start it off. So Phoenix takes over at 39 in good field position. A little short. Didn't have enough length. So, Brian Epps, the rookie, comes out. So let's look at his stats. 266 completions, 367 attempts, 2,712 yards, 20 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, 50 rushing yards on the game. Here's Tepps. Tepps also a great sca scrambler. He's going to scramble up to the point two and he slides, even though he had a block. Tepps a little questionable rookie mistake there. Could have had a lot more yards, but he decides to slide, but he does pick up three in the process. So Taps, no rushing touchdowns, but he was pretty good on the ground, just couldn't hit 50 yards besides one game. Here is the second and seven, Taps. Throwing this one, caught. It's number 20 to the 50-yard line, that's eight yards, and a first down, Phoenix. Christian Devil, number 20. First and ten now. Here is Taps. Looking to throw. Taps scrambling. He slides again to the 48. Doesn't want to get hit. Doesn't want to cop up the ball so he gets two yards in that play. Second and eight. Drake's been covering him pretty well so far. He hasn't got too many yards on the ground. He's been looking for some lanes with Detroit's linebackers. Pretty good linebacking core. Here's Taps throwing, he gets pressure, gets it off with Tank Whoop. He'll be starter next season as this is Noah Briggs last season, he gets it into the red zone. As Phoenix has a great pickup, 17 yards after the catch up on a 28 yard completion. So Taps finds the open man as Detroit sends the blitz and Whoop makes the defense pay. This is Phoenix wide receiver core. Ain't going to be that great next year, besides Hank Loop. Unless Devil or Roundhouse takes a big step. Probably going to have to... They'll probably drop the wide receiver. You can see it replace Noah Briggs. But with the tight end and halfback dual threat they have, they don't really need that many receivers. Just a replacement for Briggs, and I think this offense is pretty good. Have to work on that defense side of the ball, though. Here is Taps. Looking to throw. Throwing. It's blind. Oh, knocked down, almost intercepted. That's a little air on that one. But it's knocked down and incomplete. Try a nice play there. They're known for their red zone defense. Let's see if they can stand up for that today. Second and ten now for the Evil Monsters. Four receivers on display and a tight end. No back. Here's Taps throwing and 
to the end zone. It's complete. Touchdown, Phoenix. The Gill Monsters are on the board. As it's a touchdown. That is Chet Wood, I believe. Yeah, it is Chet Wood. It's 10 touchdowns of the season. Well, we'll go into a stats sheet, but that would be number 10. So he was a big help in their regular season game against Detroit. I guess they go to him too here. Six plays, six yards, and two minutes, 12 off the clock. As the Phoenix Field wants to score quick here in Detroit. So we're here in Detroit in the wild card round, and Phoenix starts us off here. Just like they did in Phoenix and back in the regular season. They barely made it into this thing. A lot of people didn't think LA would choke their wild card spot, but Phoenix got the benefit and then they showed they could make it. Now they're trying to show they can make it to the divisional. But they have still have a lot of game of football left to go here in Detroit. As we see Detroit come back onto the field, the return he's gonna be stopped at the twenty three. That one, a 23-yard return as he took it pretty much from out of the end zone. As Richardson comes back on, couldn't get it done, and the field goal missed, so he comes back out with the offense. Not a terrible drive last time, just couldn't get the three points he needed, or seven points he wanted. Here's Richardson off the play, fake. Throwing it. That's complete. That's Otis Stelle. Mr. Reliable. 27 yards on his first catch of the day. Look for that connection if Detroit wants to make it anywhere in the playoffs. They're going to have to go to Mr. Otis Stelly quite a bit. Otis Stelly, let's look at him how he did this season. He had 59 catches, 645 yards, and three touchdowns. The stats might not show that much, but he was a great target for Richardson this season. Had the most yards by over 200 yards. They didn't pick up too much in the air. It was mostly the ground game. Here is Richardson. Throwing. That's Hector McDaniel on the slot. Hits him at the 41 and he's dropped. Second and one now for Detroit. McDaniel, two catches, 14 yards. Last week he was starter for Detroit as they sat Otis, Otis Stelle. And now he gets more chances as he becomes their slot receiver. But he is listed as a tight end. Here's Little, Little finding space. He gets it down to the 27. Nice early first there from Little. 4.2 average right now. As Little gets the first down for Detroit. Seven rushes, three passes so far for Detroit. Richardson's only fired to a tight end so far. Here's Little. First and ten, he gets six yards. And now let's look at Phoenix's defense. Daryl Clint Roster, Corey Randall, Daryl Shaw on your defensive line. Linebackers, Tony Amigo, Jordan Jackson, Eric Prostit. Linebackers and Byron Baxter, the defensive back of the year, Dexter Sex, Ben Wish, and are your state secondary. I couldn't see the final corner. So I can't tell you. But Byron Baxter, one defensive back of the year. The only one on this defense with an award. Here is Richardson. Looking to throw, throwing on the run, he hits Little on a first down inside the red zone now. Four for four for Richardson, 46. Still doesn't hit a wide receiver, gets. As he gets that one to Little. First and 10 now for the power inside the red zone at the 16. 
They look to score. Here's Little up the middle. By a little bit of a seam, he gets it to the 15. Not much. He tried to spin off his line, but there's Phoenix Mo Gilmas who's waiting right for him. Alfred Ford on that tackle. Oh, I'm pretty sure Alfred Ford is the other starter on the corner. Here's Little. What about Steve Watts? Steve Watts on his first carry gets eight yards and gets it to seven, third and inches, and he couldn't get the extra inch. It's third and inches. Richardson. Scrambling, Richardson finding his opening to the three yard line. First thing, goal of Detroit. So Richardson saw his pocket collapse and he made a split second decision and it got him the yards he needed. Detroit, first and goal. The defensive end was getting close and Richardson just found the opening. Great play. They have four wide outs on this play. Otis oh, Stelly's in slot, maybe him. Here's Richardson. He looks to scramble, but he's gonna get sacked. Daryl shot off the edge. He got that nice play on Little earlier for the stop, and now he gets a nice sack on first and goal. Second goal after the three yard sack. Richardson tried doing another rush, but Phoenix needs to know he's gonna be doing that a lot today. And Daryl shot got off the edge quick enough. So the first quarter runs out. Phoenix, Gill Monsters are at 7. Detroit Power at 0. Second quarter as the Detroit Power at the 6 and it's second and goal. Richardson might have to throw the ball here. Using the offense, talking it over. Maybe they use a little here. Four receivers. You got Stelle and McDaniel in this play. Here's Richardson throwing out of bounds and completes. Throwing it for the cameraman. And that's his first incompletion of the day. Third and goal now. And Phoenix stands strong in the red zone. At the goal line, maybe. Third and goal. Here is Richardson, the offense. Let's see what they do. Two receivers on the top. Richardson looking to throw. Throwing it. He can't get the yard. Stelly doesn't get there. Fourth and goal. Phoenix stops them in great play there. Seeing if they can get the block and Stelly could slip it in. But Dexter Sex sniffed out right what they were going to do there. If Sex wouldn't have been there, that would have been an easy six. Because McDaniel, the other tight end, would have got the block. Oh, a little contact from McDaniel in the corner he was on right there, too. Looks like nothing serious. They didn't fight or anything. So now field goal. This one's going to be 21 yards. The kick up. This one, it is good. He doesn't miss it. So 7-3 as the power. Make it a little closer. The kick away. Phoenix is going to get the ball. So the touchdown on the last possession to Jet Wood. 
Okay, we're starting at the 39. This time, that starts at 25. Let's see what Taps and the offense can do. Here is first and ten. It's the first rush of the day. Jokes is going nowhere. We got number nine in the MVP race. We're number nine in the Jason Hill's top 25 of the year. He's going to go nowhere. Zachary Bryant on that tackle. He had only one interception on the year, but he... Got a pretty good cover corner for Detroit this year. He's covering break today. Here's second and twelve, another rush. This one finding a few more yards as that one is jokes again. He gets four yards on the carry, third and eight now. Brian Tesla might have to take the air with this one, or maybe the ground. Look at the legs. Third might have to account for the run. Very QB spy. Here's third and eight. Taps. Throw away and he hits the back, but it's down. He gets hit at the 27, and that's where he's going to get thrown out of bounds. So Taps in the offense go three and out here. Spooly of jokes. Kind of break for a big chunk of yards there. And now Detroit will have to get the ball again. The punt team comes here for Phoenix. So a punt away. And John Richardson in the offense will get the ball. Bounces at the 10 and into the end zone touchback. Taylor Little, 7 rushes, 28 yards so far today. He is averaging for a carry. Still early in the game, he has plenty of time to eat. First and ten, Hugh Brooks is in the slot. Throwing. Picked off! The Gill Monsters have it. That's Byron Baxter, your defensive back of the year, and he gets a pick here. That's his eighth of the season. So Richardson makes a questionable decision there. Throwing in double coverage. And Baxter makes him pay. This is the defensive back of the year, and you're throwing a 50-50 ball with him. It was against Hector McDaniel there. I've actually kind of read that well. He was, the tight end was going over to so Richardson. Thought he'd have room to fly, but oh boy, was he wrong. That was his sixth interception of the year for Richardson. He didn't throw too many. He threw one interception for every four touchdowns, so that's not terrible. First and ten, here's a swing pass. Finding some room. That's Frank Jog. Down to the 24, 21 yards on his first carry. Jokes might not be productive, but Jog sure is doing fine. That gets him already to the 24. And Phoenix is cooking now. Nice block there as they hit him on the sweep and Jog makes the defense. Hey. First and 10 at the 24, 5 rush, six, 5 pass, so... Heel Monsters have been spreading the love. Here is Taps. Throwing. Sideline. That's caught. First down. That's Christian Devil on the sideline. His second catch is 20 yards. First and ten inside the red zone. That's 12 yard line. It's a jet sweep. Breaking the outside. No break down to the three yard line. The old veteran still has got some gas in him. He gets it to the second and one. Sure way to wild to cut inside, but he gets the nine yards. And that makes it an easy second and one. That's the three yard line. Detroit needs to stop. They're stacking the goal line. So it's Phoenix. Here's the run up the middle. Jog can't find no the jokes. Jokes can't any find anywhere to rumble there. 30 inches now. 
Detroit needs one more stop for Phoenix to kick this field goal. They might even go for it. It is, could be fourth down territory. Oh, Phoenix might be... This is a dangerous thing because Taps could run now. Third and inches. But they hand it off! Detroit! Pitsum and Frank Jaw can't go anywhere. Fourth and three. Matthew Harmon, the veteran, saw that play coming. I didn't see it, so... The veteran at least did. He won't be here next season. He's actually going to Atlanta. So he might try to win a... He's going to be trying to win a ring here at Detroit before he leaves. We'll miss him. We're going to have to get a young edge rusher in the draft, I guess. Fourth and three, the field goal team does come out for Phoenix. This one's going to be 22 yards. Pick up, it's good. Nice, easy points there. And it's a seven point game. Phoenix at 10, Detroit at three. So Phoenix takes the lead. Let's see what Detroit now can do. So here, the kick away, at almost halfway through this second quarter, so we're getting down to halftime, and this kick is going to be taken out to the 27 as Detroit going to be trying to tie us up here. Steve Watts, 24 yards per return right now. Last time Richardson made a decision that kind of hurt, up, hurt the team there as they let three points happen. Only three points, luckily. But it could have been seven. So Richardson may be a little more cautious if he throws next to Byron Baxter. Here is play action. Richardson launching it down deep once again. Wow. Picked again. This time it's Dexter Sex. So Richardson wastes no time, throws it downfield, and triple coverage against Hugh Brooks. Who knows what he saw. But that's a second pick for Phoenix now. Can't be playing like this in the playoffs. Baxter was right next to them too. Maybe if the safety wasn't there, maybe would have contested it because Brooks did have a little angle on Baxter there, but no way would have I thrown that. If I was Richardson there. That's the turn second turnover. Now Phoenix, first and ten. The run, this time it's Jog, and it's at the 17 with the quick move. Three yards in that play, second and seven. Roland Murray, his first tackle of the game. He started last week for Detroit as they sat their top two corners. He being the third string, took over. Second and seven, here's the run up the middle. Jog finding some room. Jog all the way down to the 32, as he's eating up early. Four rushes, 37 yards. There's Chandler on that tackle. So here is first and ten now. Peps throwing it. This one caught. To the 38. Peps 7 for 8. 81 yards and a touchdown. Not bad to start it off here in the playoffs. That one, Hank Loop, two catches, 33 yards on his day so far. Second and five now for the Yellow Monsters. 
your steps. Going. Oh, hit as he can. Catch it? Yes, he did, but he got hit sticked. No, a break, though. Veteran. Hold on to it. I don't think you'd see a rookie or anyone young make that kind of catch. Two catches, 15 yards here for break. Making the veteran play as his team needs. Phoenix, first and 10. 10 throw away in this one. Caught off the quick slant. 90% in its accurate so far. 100 yards and a touchdown. That one, Christian Devil, his third catch, 33 yards on the day. He's averaging 11 catch right now. Murray, get him there. He's going to be on Devil today. If those two are showing. Here it is, first and 10. It's a run, it's Jones, Jones. And it up to the 38. Four rushes, nine yards for Julio. Nicholas Stone with the tackle there. Second and four, Phoenix. Running again. Shakes off the tackle. Dope down on the line of scrimmage. He'll get dropped. Got hit behind the line of scrimmage, and then reinforcements came as he was trying to break it big. There, Alice and Nicholas Stone both hit him there. And it's third and fourth, 38. It'd be a long field goal, but makeable. It's the third and four, but Phoenix wants to maybe cash in seven here. Two minutes left to play in the first half in Detroit in December. We're here in Detroit, third and four for Phoenix. The six seeds trying to kick out the third seed here early in the playoffs. Third and four, here's Taps. Throw away in this one, caught. Hit right away as he's dropped. First and ten for Phoenix. Third reception, no break again. Third, this third reception, he's having he's got twenty yards on the day. He's been catching those slants so far. He's trying to take the inside, and he knows what to do. He's crafty. He's a veteran. He can maybe take advantage of the inside, and that's why Phoenix started him at slot today. He has no break this way slot. Throwing, it's Teps, Teps, going backwards, and I'm going forwards, he's going to run it. Brian Teps with a little trickery there, and he gets it inside the red zone at the 16. Three rushes, 23 yards for Teps. Murray on that tackle. That's a great play there. Short rookie quarterback makes a good play. Here's Teps, looking to throw, throwing, ooh, incomplete, Tep. It was almost picked off by Detroit, by Detroit. then no break on the side, then it fell to the ground. 104 left in the first half. Second and 10 for Phoenix Hill Monsters. Second and 10, here's Teps. He's throwing, that's caught on the 13, and he's hit down in Phoenix. This is their first time out of the half. Two timeouts left for them. It's 10 3 here in Detroit. Cold December day. Jet Wood, two catches, 22 yards. That was the second catch. He has the touchdown. The only touchdown here today. Third and seven. Can Phoenix convert this third down, or they have to settle for another three? Here's Taps. Detroit's blitzing. Throwing. Taps. Always hit. Oh, the reinforcements comes and beats them down. The Fiends, Neil Monsters, use their second timeouts. Or is that Detroit? 
That was Detroit. Detroit used their first time out. 51 seconds left because that was Dog. Dog took out the tackle initially, but then reinforcement stopped him. So Phoenix probably going to be picking this. It's going to be 28 yards. Pick up, it's good. 13 to 3 as Phoenix takes the lead by 10. So the kick away, as we'll see if Detroit has anything up their pockets. The return taken out to the 25, so. First and ten. Richardson looking to throw. Some two picks in his last two throws, but this one, he's just going to check it off. Number 32, he takes the, their second time out of the half. And I'm four. Here is Richardson. Richardson feeling pressure. He's going to get sacked. It's Tony Amigo off the edge. Third and ten. It's a Phoenix is a timeout here. Here's third and ten. As it's a rush by Little. Little! Did he get the yards? Phoenix calls their last time out. Fourth and inches, he didn't get there. The punt. With the power. Kick is up. And now 25 seconds to try to do something. Oh, Bugs going to be punted and it's going to be hit at the 6. Great punt there by Detroit. I don't think Phoenix will be able to do anything here. The so test comes out. 12 completions, 14 attempts. It's pretty accurate. 110 yards and a touchdown. Here is the run, it's Jog. That will probably wrap us up in the first half. And that's the end of the first half in the first half of our Jason Bell playoffs. Season 1. The Phoenix Gill Monsters lead 13, Detroit Power at 3. Pretty interesting here. As Phoenix showing a little bit of what they did last in the regular season. It was 14 nothing in the regular season. Look, try made it a little closer. But Jog did a pretty good first half. Taps really great in the first half. Richardson looking a little shaky. He had two picks, no touchdowns. So maybe a little more cleanup from Richardson and Detroit could possibly be a contender out there, but here comes Phoenix coming back out, and Detroit's already out there. 
We're going to get this second half kicking away here in Detroit. Kick away, Phoenix will get it. They get to the 31, and that's where Brian Taps in the offense will take over. Jokes, number nine in this year's top 25. Only five rushes, nine yards. He has not been able to do much yet. Frank Jogg's been doing pretty well, though, so that works. Here's Taps, he's looking to throw, gets it to Chet Wood. He hasn't had that much production to be able to set his touchdown. There's a catch for him. He also led the lead in catch. Is 72 that, no, catch would be number 75 if the season was still going. First and 10 at the 43. Here is Taps throwing, caught. He's meant to 49 and he's dropped there. Total yards 200 for Phoenix. No break this 26 of though. We see his four catches. Nicholas Stone, four tackles. Second and four, here's Taps. He's throwing. It's jokes out of the backfield at the 45. First and 10, Phoenix, as they split field position again, getting it to the 45 now on the Detroit side. Phoenix hasn't had that much trouble with moving the ball to that cashing it in. 13 rushes to 17 pass. Ryan Tess, looking with the throw, feel pressure, he's going to scramble, gets three yards off the scramble. Four rushes, 26 yards for Tess. He gets three yards off that scramble. Second and seven now for Tess. The offense. 42. Fake run, throwing, cap, spins off the tackle, he gets it to the 27. First down, Hank Whoop, his third reception, he has 48 yards on the day. Nicholas Stone with the tackle. Whoop, he's been pretty good today. Yeah, I didn't see him much in the second quarter, but that's a great catch there. Spins off the tackle. Almost broke that one big. First and ten. Here's Taps. Okay, throw away. No, he's going to run. Spins off the tackle. That was scary. Could have been a fumble. But he gets five yards in the carry. He's 31 yards down today. Stone with the tackle there. He gets second and five now. A little over seven minutes left to play in the third quarter. Second and five now for the Gila Monsters. Try right, once a big play here. Maybe a interception or fumble. Tex. He's going to look to run. Has room. Sideline. Oh, he steps out of bounds. He could have died for that one. He's going to be out of bounds at the sixth. First and goal, Phoenix. Tex, six rushes, 47 yards. He's been deadly on the ground. Church just can't find a way to stop him. He's just too quick. Bryant would have maybe had to fight him off in the end zone if he didn't step out of bounds. 
for Stan Gold Phoenix. They're stacking the line. Here's a run up the middle, but he's going to be stopped. That's a nice play there by Detroit, and that's Joe. Six rushes, 90 yards. Cannot find anywhere to go. Elias Moss was in on that tackle. Second and goal. Four receivers in the back on this play. Here's Taps. He's going to run. No, Taps is throwing. Finds a touchdown. It's the veteran Noah Brakes. Great, his touch, first touchdown of the playoffs, and could be his final of his career. Great catch there from Great. That could just that could be an extra knife in a coffin here. Plenty of football left, but that extends the lead to 17 with the extra point. Assuming they make it. But here is our extra point attempt. Pick up it is. Good. Nine plays, 69 yards, and 3 minutes and 48 seconds as Phoenix makes it a 17 point lead. And if anyone wondering at all, if this is hard to watch, yes, it is. We need to play better. I'm just saying. Richardson needs to start making plays. Or just give it off to Little a little more. And the kick away. Detroit with the ball now. Now their first possession of our second half, and we see what they do. Steve Watts on that return gets it at 321. Here's first and ten, it's little. He's running. Cuts back, he gets it to the 29, 8 yards. Here is Richardson throwing as he gets hit. Halfback screen to Little, but he gets blown up for three yards. Phoenix, nice play there. Third and five now. Little has two catches, only one yard to show for it. Third and five. This brings up an interesting decision. Can Little scram run for it? Can Richardson scramble for it? Or do they try to pick it up with the air, which could be risky at this point? Here's Richardson throwing incomplete. And it's fourth down. Return for the punt. He's going to be stopped at the 30. And Phoenix will get it once again. Detroit really needs some kind of turnover here. As there's less than 15 minutes left to play in this game. Dog, five rushes, 40 yards. He's averaging eight to carry. So we'll see what Teps can do. Here's five wide. I mean, they have four people on the top, and it's going to be a lot for Detroit to cover. Fake to the wide receiver, throwing it downfield, that's caught! It's no break! 
In one play, they get all the way down to Detroit's 37. 33 yards were great. They were faking the wide receiver screen in Detroit bit. Six catches, 65 yards were great to put him in the slot. Worked. They've been tearing apart this defense. If they would have thought about this earlier in the season, they could have had a great final season. First and ten here for Phoenix. Gives a run. Gives it off to Jug and gets a yard. Second and nine at the 36. Nicholas Stone in on that tackle. Two hundred eighty-four yards on feet for Phoenix on the day. One eighty-four. Or 118, I think it was, for Detroit. Here's a run. It's jokes. He gets it out to the 32. Might have had his base run of the day, to be honest. Five yards. And it's third and five now for Phoenix. Carroll Allison with one tackle now. That's his first. Here's third and five. It's Tets. He's so going to throw, throw away, that's great. Right out of the slot, the slant. And it's first and ten, Phoenix. They're just marching and marching all over Detroit right now. Seven catches, 76 yards for Noah Brick and a touchdown. First and ten at the edge of the red zone. They're almost in there. Once again, first and ten. Steps one receiver up top in the back. He hands it off. It's Jog. Oh, he gets spin back, but he gets called at 16. Seven rushes, 46 yards for Jog. It's almost at 50. Aaron Chandler. He used to be the backup to Julio Jokes. He had a little more yards in him, but he let Jokes hit all the touchdowns and... Receiving yards, but now he's being the star of the show. Second and five. Here's Tex. Gets blitzed. Heavy. He gets out of it. Tex. All the way down to the nine as he slides. And it's a first thing goal for the Phoenix Eel Monsters. A little over 12 minutes left to go in this game. Tex. And the Eel Monsters, if they get a touchdown, that could be a real, real hit on Detroit. I need something big to happen. Their way, of course. Jokes gets it down to the five. Maybe he's starting to light a little spark. Second and goal. Chandler on the tackle. Here's Chandler. Second and goal now for the Phoenix at the five yard line. In Detroit, hold. Maybe get a turnover. Here's the run of the middle. Jokes. Touchdown, Phoenix Gila Monsters. Julio Jokes. His 12th touchdown of the season. First touchdown of the playoffs. I won't go into the stat sheet. Nothing in the playoffs does, remember. That would be his 12th. And jokes. Hits Detroit hard on that one. It's a 24 point deficit now. Detroit gets three touchdowns and a field goal. Pick up, it's good. It plays 70 yards, three minutes and 35 seconds.
118 left in the third quarter. It's Detroit's going to get the ball down by 24. They need to start making drives, and they need to make them quick. This return is going to be going to the 24. First and ten, here's Richardson, he's throwing. That's caught Otis Stelle. In for 12, 59 yards and two interceptions. Has not been good for Richardson. Most of his yards just came from Stelle. Here's Richardson throwing incomplete. Oh, that was a wide open Hugh Brooks. He under the world so bad. Third and one. Hugh Brooks could have had an open touchdown there. No one on him for miles. Third and one. It's the run, little. Powering. First down, little. Breaks the seam. Taylor Little, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Detroit Power. Taylor Little, 67-yard touchdown to the house. Don't count Detroit out yet. Little burned down the sideline for 67 and a Detroit touchdown. So Little... What looks like a play going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. He breaks off the side and no one catches him with that incredible acceleration and speed. So Detroit now down by 17 and a few good plays and this could go to Detroit's favor. They're going to go for it. Two points. This could make 16 points in a two-point game. Two-score two game. Here's Richardson. He gets the two points. And it's 11-27 here. 16-point game and a two-score game. As Richardson and Detroit. Three plays, 76 yards, 43 sec seconds. As one 67-yard rush from Little and the Detroit power have a chance. Now Taps in the offense. They're going to be trying to... Take hope away from Detroit. They haven't had a single thing go wrong for them, really, today. And the kick away. Detroit defense needs to do something here. Fumble! Oh, Phoenix picks it up. That would have been something. So Detroit forces the fumble, but Phoenix luckily gets the ball back. What have that been something? But now Detroit's defense needs to do really well here. Strips the fumble, but he looks for the tackle instead of the fumble. Oh, that sucks. Medina strips him. And here comes out Taps. 19 completions, 21 attempts, 199 yards, two touchdowns. It's been a great day for the rookie. So Detroit see if I need to do something now. First and 10. Here is Taps. They're throwing instead of running the ball, maybe. That's plenty of time. He's throwing. That's quick off the thing, and he's at a 47. Great play there. They need to stop Noah Brick if they want any chance of coming back in this game. He's been too deadly in the slot. It's a matchup nightmare right now. Finding holes all over. Gosh, if they if he would have been in the slot this whole season, I wonder what would have happened. He catches 95 yards for break. Third quarter's almost over. First and 10. Down. Taps throwing. He's going to get tackled right as the catch. And that's the end of the third quarter.
It's 27-11 here in Detroit in a December cold day. Zachary Bryan on that tackle. That was great on the catch. He's over 100 yards now. He's 101 yards off of nine catches. That's the end of the quarter here. Detroit trying to come back at their home stadium here in the playoffs. Trying to knock off Phoenix, but Phoenix, one more good drive in this game is pretty much over. Even a field goal could pretty much do Detroit in. Here's a run. Oh, he found room. Joke still rumbling to the 31. 10 rush, 39 yards. One touchdown. Joke found a way to bounce back from the bad first half he had. Looks like Phoenix is in field goal range. That probably doesn't unless Detroit has a big turn over here. All they really need to do is run out some clock, get a field goal. That's a three point game. Maybe a three score game. I'd like to see Troy come back from that. Well, I'd love to see it actually, but most likely not going to happen. Here's first and ten, it steps. He's throwing this one, check down. Oh, a juke. Gets hit at the 28, and he's down. Second and eight now. Jack Wood, that catch four sections, 36 yards. Zachary Bryant on the tackle. Here's a run. It's jog. He gets a nice six yard stretch. Third and one now for the Phoenix Steel Monsters. If I was Phoenix, I would have been telling him to stay in bounds to get the lock winding up. Wait, it's winding down here out of bounds. What? Third and one. Here's Phoenix. Taps, he's scrambling. Taps finding room. Touchdown! He gets hit by Medina. In for the score, Brian Taps. His first touchdown rushing of the season. It's in the playoffs. And that probably does Detroit in for the day. And Phoenix, it's, probably be, it's going to be moving on to fight Seattle. Unless John Richardson has other plans. It's looking like Phoenix has found themselves a one-way date to Seattle. One-way trip, I mean. Extra point, it's up, it's good. Six plays, 72 yards, three, two minutes, 13 seconds off the clock. Pick away. Pick it in from the end zone. Straight off the tackle to the 21. That's where they're going to be in the marks. He was 23 yards per turn. John Richardson, the offense, marching back out there. Here's Richardson throwing. That one's caught. Hector McDaniel. To the 25. Second and six. Yeah. 
Second and six, here's Richardson. Go in and completes. Detroit is going to make a lineup change. So a big change for Detroit. They put Steve Watson at running back, and Hugh Brooks is their slot receiver. Taylor Little has been put to wide receiver at number two. to Stelly on that catch. So, Detroit, a little bit of a different outlook here. It's now Little's playing a wide receiver position, and Brooks is playing inside. So, essentially, there Little puts is where Brooks is now. See if he can do anything big. First and ten. Richardson looking to get outside, but he's going to get sacked. Phoenix gets to him. Their second sack of the night. They're third, actually. Second and 18 now. Richardson couldn't escape Phoenix. Trying to get to the outside, but he's sacked. I'm thinking Brooks should be nice in the slot, kind of like Noah Briggs is doing for Phoenix, so they kind of copy him here. And they put a little onto the receiver. Brooks in the slot, you can see him. Richardson, Thorne, that's... It's to the 34. I think that's Terry Little, actually. That's yeah, Little. Three cat, third and 12 now. Little third catch, seven, he's 7 yards in the day. 6-14 left to go in the game. So needs a big comeback for Detroit. Looks pretty impossible. Here's Richardson throwing. They have a Odistelle running sideline, but there was a flag. Pass interference on the defense, but it's going to be declined. Dexter Sex getting a little too handsy. And it calls for the flag. First and ten here now. Richardson throwing. That's little. To the 33. Second and six now. This is moving great downfield for Detroit. The lineup change must have helped a little. Second and six. Here's Richardson throwing. That's Brooks out of the slot. His first catch of the day. Surprisingly. Unbelievable to think it's only his first catch. I guess slot helped him. His first catch was for seven yards. And it's a first down for Detroit. As we might see their first red zone of the day. They have not had a red zone chance yet. I don't know what they have. I think they were in the red zone. Maybe. I don't know. Here's McDaniels. McDaniel gets it down to the 18-yard line. Red zone opportunity here for Detroit. They're going to need a lot of touchdowns if they want to come back. And they're not even hurrying to the line, which is surprising me. Stelly and tight end. And Brooks in the slot. Maybe look for him. Throwing, it's Selly. Get inside 10, and it's first and goal, Detroit. Otis Selly, six catches, 88 yards for him. A lot of those yards came out of the big catch down field he had just a couple plays ago on this drive. Under four minutes left to go now in this game. First and goal, Detroit. Here it is. It's Watts, his second carry. He sh doesn't get anywhere. Second goal. Yeah, two yards on that play, actually. Second goal. They need to be throwing the ball. I don't think they're... I don't think Detroit has plans on catching up, to be honest. Richardson at the six. He's going to give it off to Little. Little not making it. He gets hit at the five. Third and goal. Corey Randall on that tackle.
Third angle. Here's Richardson. Scrambling. Oh, he's going down. Tony Amigo, his second sack of the night. He gets in there. He's in the zone now. Tony Amigo, maybe looking to rush the quarterback a little more now. Richardson can't escape the pocket. If he left the pocket, maybe he was scared of getting sacked again. Amigo made him pay. Now, fourth and goal. And Detroit's just looking for the kick. Yeah, they're done. Kick up, it's good. 34 14 here in Detroit. Looks like their season is gone, and Phoenix looks like they're going to be cashing their ticket to Seattle. Just like the natives. Side kick, what? But they went for the field goal. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, my teams are targeting. Uh. So, first and ten. As here comes back out, Noah Great. He is at now reception 101 yards at the touchdown. Been great for him. So they're probably gonna be looking out to run out the clock and call the game. Here's a run straight up with the middle jog and no one contesting him. Thirty more yards and he has had a hundred yard game, but that's probably not gonna happen because only twenty eight more yards until they hit the end zone. And that's gonna bring us to our two minute warning here in Detroit. Phoenix 34, Detroit 14. Power. Seems to have ran out of battery, for say, you could say. They're going to fall here at home. And the 16, Phoenix Field Monsters. First and ten here. Steps throwing. Breaks off a tackle. He's going to get down to the 12. First and ten. Here's Taps. Three seconds left to throwing. Taps throwing. This one caught. Spun down at the four. Second and two now for the Gill Monsters. One oh two left to go in the game. Second and two, they're stacking the line. This could be the last play. Here's the run up the middle. No, he's going to be stopped after two. First thing goal, though. Julio Jokes, 11 rushes, 41 yards, and a touchdown. Not bad on the day for him. Maybe not the yards he wants, but he gets the touchdown. He carried with Frank Jog for over 100 yards. Eight seconds left. Now they're going to snap it, first and goal. No. They have a little bit of respect and they don't snap it. So our final score in Detroit. 34-14. to The Gill Monsters move on.
Ryan Tetz is your player of the game. 250 yards, two touchdowns, and 92.3 passer completion percentage. Wow. Great for him. The most points scored in a quarter was the third. There was 22 points scored in the quarter. That quarter. The least was the first quarter. Only seven points from Phoenix. And... I think the game really started turning when Detroit couldn't stop them and they started throwing those picks in the second quarter. It's not the game Detroit was wanting and not the end of the season they wanted, but Phoenix is to advance and I'll see you guys on Sunday evening for the Charlotte Bats and the New Orleans Musicians.